Okay, so this video is going to be talking about addition reactions. So the example I've got here is an alkene, and this can also happen for an alkyne. Okay, so we're going to be explaining Markovnikov's rule. So with an addition reaction, we have two groups adding across a double bond and making a single bond. So it's quite simple in the case of H2, or if you have a halogen, so Cl2, you know that one group will add to one carbon on the double bond and another group will add to the other side of the double bond. So because they're the same compound, you don't really need to think about which side it's going to go to because you can't, you can't work that out. So with this one here, we're going to be adding an unsymmetrical acid across the double bond. So we're going to be looking at, I'll do it here, Let's, let's look at HCl as our acid that we're going to be adding onto this molecule. So the first step in this mechanism is the breaking of the double bond. So remember the double bond has got an extra two electrons over the single bond, so it's an electron rich area. So when we're drawing our arrow, we'll be starting at the electron rich area and we'll be going towards the hydrogen. So remember with your arrows, we've got our electron starting here and ending there. So we've got a double headed arrow indicating that two electrons are moving. So in this process, this bond will need to break and the chlorine will become a Cl minus. So when this happens, our hydrogen will go to one side and on the other side, we will get a carbocation intermediate. Okay, so it's no longer a double bond, we've reacted it and we're going to get a carbocation on one side and we've still got our Cl minus floating around so I'll write it up there out of the way. So when you're deciding which side gets the hydrogen you need to think about which side will produce the more stable carbocation. So the more stable carbocation will be on the carbon that's the most substituted. Okay so in this case we have a carbon so if I look back here, I have a carbon with one R group, which is some sort of carbon chain, and a hydrogen. So this is a primary carbocation that would be produced. On this side here, I have two carbon groups, okay, so, or two R groups. So this is a secondary carbocation that has been produced in this reaction. So we know a secondary carbocation is more stable than a primary carbocation, so it will go towards the secondary carbocation being um, in solution. So once this, is, this has been formed, you'll then have your chlorine adding on to that carbon and you'll get, you'll get your CHHRCL as your product. Okay, so we've added across the double bond and the group that the nucleophile attaches to, or the carbon it attaches to, is the one that can form the best carbocation intermediate. So the generalization that we get from this one is the rich gets richer. Okay, so the side that has the most hydrogens gets the hydrogens. So you can see we've got a hydrogen here and we have no hydrogens there. So the hydrogen goes to the hydrogen side because the other side will make a better carbocation and we end up with the rich gets richer. So if you remember the rich gets richer, um, it will help you work out your products for these types of reactions a lot easier. Okay, so that's your Makovnikov's rule.